my channel, my name is Adriana. I'm a certified personal trainer. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning, thank you. Uh, today we're gonna do something different. Instead of doing a regular cooking video, doing a workout video, I'm gonna talk about a topic that's been, tr not trending, but kind of hot on TikTok. I've talked a little bit about it there before. We're gonna talk about teas and which teas are good for PCOS. I did talk quite a bit about spearmint tea. It is a tea that I am drinking about two cups a day for the past two months, going on to almost two and a half months, and I love it. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, thank you for coming back. If you're new, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe or hit like. That way I can reach more women and help them out. So some of the teas we're gonna be talking about outside, uh, along with spearmint tea, is gonna be peppermint tea, green tea, and synonym tea. So spearmint tea, don't mind me, I'm reading a few notes here. It's a lot to go through. Helps with decrease of free testosterone, and it helps with hair tourism. If you're not familiar with what hair tourism is, it would be ac excess fa facial hair growth, which is very common among women with that PCOS. And yes, I have seen results. It took about a month, saw some subtitle changes, but now going two months in, I've seen more and more of a difference. So I'll be sticking to this. I am on birth control. Um, I know there may be a bit of a medical hesitation if you should take it. It has not affected my birth control, but of course, speak to your physician about it or OBGYN to see if it's gonna be good for you. Next, we're gonna cover is spearmint tea, not spearmint tea, peppermint tea, peppermint tea. It is within the mint family. It also helps with PCOS, but mostly it helps with your digestive fun function. So it's gonna help with your cramps, especially your menstrual cramps, gonna help, help with upset stomach, um, gas and bloating. And we all know, no one likes to feel bloated, especially if you have IBS, this is definitely a great way Great thing to incorporate into your diet, but again, speak to your physician about it. Um, the reason that it helps with digestion is that the peppermint tea has menthol, and no, you can't smoke peppermint tea, at least that I know of, so please don't. But the menthol in the peppermint tea is what increases the bile in the stomach, and it helps to, to digest food. It contains essential vitamins and nutrients that can boost your immune system. So that's great, especially with this cold weather. And if you live where the wind hurts your face, AKA Midwest, it is full blown flu season. So everyone around here is getting sick. Would definitely recommend this if you're feeling a little under the weather. I actually have in the past used peppermint tea when I did have an upset stomach. I didn't really understood at the time why. It was just something my grandma had me do. So. It is seen as a herbal medication, uh, herbal medication or like holistic medicine. Um, it is also anti-inflammatory that will help reduce any type of redness, and especially if you have acne. That's the other thing with spearmint tea. I did know since it lowered down the testosterone for me, I did start seeing I was having less acne and less breakouts. So that's also a wonderful thing. Then we're gonna get into our green tea. Green tea is known to have a lot. It's known to be a caffeine replacement. So if you want to drink a lot of caffeine, you want to, or you want to get away from like drinking coffee and energy drinks, anything like that, green tea is phenomenal for it. Um, there actually has been studies shown that by drinking green tea, you can reduce your body fat percentage. It was a 12 week study. That's when we started seeing the results. So of course, don't drink it until you see results within a week. So again, this is going to be a commitment for a few months. Of course, like anything is, that's gonna be long lasting. Um, there's a significant difference within the fasting insulin and the free testosterone levels in the group that was drinking the green tea for those 12 weeks. So it's gonna help with your metabolism as well and getting rid of, metabolizing the body fat. It will, it may improve the brain function. So the caffeine boot blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter called the endocyne. It increases on what did I do? Oh, the firing of neurons. Sometimes I can't read my own writing. And the concentration neurotransmitters like dopamine and neurofrine. I cannot pronounce it. But essentially, it's going to help keep you awake. It's going to help with your brain function. So if you have any type of brain frog, 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 frog this would be great for it. I cannot talk today. 
like any other day. But I'm doing my best. And lastly, I'm going to go over cinnamon tea. The reason I'm going to say cinnamon tea for last is because you don't have to do the tea itself. You could just use a cinnamon extract and add it into your daily food. This is something that I used to do and I will be soon incorporating back into my diet. I did see wonderful effects just by having a cinnamon pill. Again, over everything that I am talking about, please speak to your uh, physician about it or your OBGYN to make sure this is right for you or a registered dietitian in this case when adding in new supplements into your diet. And of course, just a reminder, if you like what you're hearing so far and want to hear more about it, feel free to give me a like and subscribe. It's a way to show support to my channel and so that everyone else could hear more about it and reach a greater audience, especially with women who, like you and I, are finding ways that we could improve our symptoms of PCOS. So getting back into our cinnamon tea. So there was a study that was done to determine the effects and mechanisms of cinnamon on PCOS. The outcome show synonym restores the psychology and ovary morphology in PCOS. Basically, it showed that it helped women with gaining their menstrual cycle back. It turned out to be more regular. There was a second study done by University of Columbia or Columbia University to be more exact. That showed the same thing that improves insulin resistance and maybe potential therapeutic agent for the treatment of PCOS. Now, I could stand by that. I did, did notice when I was taking the cinnamon uh, pills, tablets, I did notice that my food was digesting a lot better when I was doing it. I, I always like to take it when I was eating something with carbs. So normally I would have taken this in the morning or in the afternoon. In the beginning of the day, I wouldn't really worry too much about my dinner or after that, but I was taking two pills a day. Another and going into it, it shows the ability to regulate blood sugar levels and reduce insulin resistance. Again, this is very important. A lot of women with PCOS are prone if they do not already have type 2 diabetes. So this is a way to manage your blood sugar levels like if you are having issues with it. Um, and just to reiterate, the study did also confirm, again, the second study showed that women had symptom extract in their diets had more regular periods. So this is also something that's important and to consider putting in your diet after speaking to your physician is we tend to either miss our period, have no period, or have crazy periods. Like I used to have. I'm so glad I'm over that. But <laughs> these are all great things you can add to your diet. I would not suggest personally throwing everything in there. Maybe choose one or two teas just to start off with and see how you feel throughout the day. I normally like to drink my spearmint tea towards the evening, especially when I'm starting to wind down for bed. It just really relaxes me. It helps with um, it helps with me on Wi for a day, it relaxes me, gets me going, so I have a good night's sleep. Green tea, I'll probably do in the morning. Again, you're just waking up. You want that bit of energy to get started with your day. Uh, Sitting tea, again, I personally just did the pills at the time, and I'll probably continue back onto it. So please let me know what you think of what I have get, uh, the information I've given you. If was this helpful, was it not? Any feedback would be great. And again, just a free way to show support to my channel. Just go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. So I'll be talk I'll be incorporating more topics on what what I did to help me with my PCOS, more workout videos, and of course cooking videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.